Hello, today I would like to brag about my recent purchase and at the same time help you out resolve problem that you might get after buying one of those enclosures. As you know, I like to fix things and because of that I hunting out deals where there is something broken and I can easily fix it and have it in my lab. And that unit came to my attention because it was listed like one tenth of a price. It's called IC Box. It is a eight hard disk drive bay that is being called a JBOT, just bunch of disk. And what does it mean? It's got a external SATA and USB interface. You can put your disk over there, eight drive to be precise, three and a half inch, and they will be visible in your operating system as independent disk. And with help of a software array, you can create array or you can manage them in a any basically any way you want. You are do not have any hardware rate. This is just an enclosure. This is basically a brand new unit. Those are not scratches. This is a foil that is mounted on each element because this is like a brand new item. It is absolutely brand new. As you can see, it came with a box. The whole idea is that unit came from a customer return and someone told that it was broken. When you've got extremely low value items and people are returning them and telling, hey, it wasn't working, then the seller is just going to accept that as a return and process refund. But here, because it was a high value item, seller used a technician to try it out and the technician provided description what is wrong with that unit for the description of auction and the technician tried it out. The problem was after turning it on, after connecting to computer, after a couple seconds it shut itself off. So for me that is telling me there might be some kind of problem with the power supply the disks are starting in that couple seconds, loading the power supply. But for me, that description fit 100% to the issue I've got with a similar enclosure that one was made by a company called Fantech for a four hard disk drive. And I decided to give it a try. And as you are going to see, I've got 100% luck because this device is fully operational. Uh, let's take a look at back of this unit. And as you can see, we've got a USB 3.0 connector and the external SATA plus the power plug. If you are curious person, you could ask yourself question what would happen if we grab two laptop computers, sit one over here, one over there, and connect one computer to the external SATA and the second computer into USB. Those, all of those drives are going to be available same time for those two computers. If you are going to ask yourself that question, then I'm going to give you an answer because it's not going to happen that way. So you have to select between the USB or the external SATA. So let's plug the power on. Let's connect our USB cable. I prepare us for doing a small test. Here I've got the USB-A to USB-C adapter. I'm going to plug it into my MacBook. 
On my MacBook, we've got open the disk utility so we can monitor what's going to happen. We are plugged into the enclosure. I'm going to power it on. We've got a OneDrive install and we power it on. You can see that the power kicks in. We can see and hear the fan working. Here is a fan indicator. The drive is spinning. The drive shut itself off. And the device turned itself off. And we've got nothing on our MacBook. So what we have to do to fix that issue, we have to turn our device on and we have to hold the interface button until it switched from ESATA into USB. Now we've got the USB indicator being lit. The drive is spinning and after a couple of seconds we should see our drive on the MacBook. And the drive is working and it's being detected on my MacBook. So this is how it looks like. We can erase that drive. You should we see the activity. It's formatting the drive. And we can use the black disk. Black magic. We can select our disk. Here is our disk. We start it. And as you can see, the external enclosure is fully operational. Absolutely. Do not pay attention to the speed. That's because I'm using. 250 gigabyte drive that got like a over 10 years. It is absolutely terrible pull out from some old network attached storage. But the enclosure itself is 100% operational. I check all the base. All of them are working. And the issue was resolved just by pressing and holding that button. This is how it presents after mounting that pulling bracket. So it looks absolutely great. Let's see what's going to happen when we insert it. We've got it like this. Now we lock that in place. And yes, it's adding a force. And allow us nicely to lock it in place. I managed to find three more drive and we are going to see what's going to happen if we create a rate zero array of those four drive maybe i will move it it shouldn't make any difference but let's move it here so it will be nicer for a look we do not need to close it down and let's turn it on and we should see four hard disk drive appear on our screen and we should see activity on those four drive on top. Our four drive was detected. We've got information that they are not formatted, but it is a 100% okay. Let's see where we were creating a array. I have to take a look because somewhere should be information that we should rate assistant. Here we've got rate zero. This is what we want. And we would like to grab our four hard disk drive and create one rate. We go like this. Keep in mind those are like over 10 years old drive. We are formatting our drive. Just take a look how beautiful it go with each drive. You can see the activity. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Just take a look how nice does it present. 
And let's try the black magic at C and see how fast it is. That's going to be absolutely beautiful test. I just love that enclosure. Of course, I will populate it with a much modern drive and we are going to get a better speed. So this is not a review on that of that enclosure. This is just a quick test after our fix. Rate successfully created. Here is our rate. Let's open the disk, the black magic. We go like this, we select our drive and we should see activity of on all those drive because we are at write zero. And as you can see, we writing to all of those drive. And do we've got any speed improvement? This is a very good question. And we are going to see what's going to be the read speed. Do we've got a benefit? The test was painful to wait. And as you can see, we've got a pretty bad result. Just so you know, this is what we are checking. This is a drive from 2008. So this is not fault of the enclosure. This is fault of those extremely old drives. And here we are after swapping lock. As you can see, we've got our beautiful key and the device is fully operational. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.